<laughs> well, it was it was nice to be uh, nominated for the Mercury because, um, well, it's nice to be for people wanting to give you something um, that you love doing anyway. Um, but whether I won or not wouldn't change anything. Awards, you know, they don't signify a lot for me. It's um, you know, it's about music at the end of the day and making records. It wasn't really much of a party, it was just, you know, we all sat around tables with posh food and and uh, I was quite happy I didn't win because I'd, I'd, I'd had quite a few beers, to be honest with you. I went up for getting up and having to make a speech. Obviously, I've heard Rick Rubin's name a few times, but being 19, I didn't know an, I, I didn't know a, an awful lot. And, you know, I had people trying to tell me things about him and stuff, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to know because I didn't want to have a perception of someone before I've already met them. I, I, I was in a room full of people that I, I didn't know, musicians I'd never played with before when I was recording this album. Um, but uh, no, but I, no matter, I learned that you know, no matter how much technology and stuff we use today to record something, that you know, it all came down to tracking the songs live and capturing that magic in. Uh, in a, in a take, it all comes down to that. It was kind of, it was kind of the first one I wrote for this album, and uh, it was kind of one last look at, you know, where I'm from, and and it was, it was like, I thought I wouldn't speak about where I'm from and stuff because I haven't been there, or you know, I haven't been living that life um, that I lived before in these last 18 months. So it was interesting that when I did go back, that <clears throat> some of the things that I saw, it was a uh, completely, I had a completely different. Um, perspective on things. I'm not somebody now that's living that life and observing on what's going on around me. I'm actually somebody now that finds that life quite strange after everything that's happened, and I'm somebody that's looking in from the, uh, from the outside. You, know, you got you, you sing those songs like it's the first time you ever sang them, and that you you put yourself in a place and how you felt and the image that was created when you first wrote that song. It takes you back there. And if people are enjoying the songs and they're singing along with you, it's a very, um, a very inspiring feeling and a, and a real incentive to put um, your heart and soul into it. Don't forget to hit subscribe to stay up to date on the latest interviews and live videos with your favourite artists.